You want me to eat all of these chicken wings and not cry? It can't be done. Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and this is the Hot Ones Reunion Special brought to you by Corona Extra. It's the reunion special with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're reunited with Jay Farrow. Uh, what's up, people? You know him from his six seasons on Saturday Night Live. He has a music project, Heartbreak, on the way. A stand-up comedian, actor, and musician, not to mention illustrious Hot Ones guest, Jay Farrell. It feels good to see you in the seat here. It does. It feels good to be in the hot seat again. That is not hot because I handle it. What is it like seeing Hot Ones fans in the wild? Do people ever stop you on the street to talk about your date with the Wings of Death? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I get, I get, they'll run up on me and they'll say, hey, man. I'll be like, they be like, hot ones. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I have done other stuff. They're like, yeah, man, you have, but come on. It wasn't hot ones, though. You killed it. So, yo, I'm, I'm, yo, yo. The love I've been getting is crazy. Well, it's time to build on that legacy a little bit, Jay. Right. Are you ready? I am ready. You know the drill. See ya. Oh, that's a nice tease. That's a nice tease right there. Mm -hmm. That's like a footer, you know what I'm saying? She's, she's using a foot. She's not <laughs> doing anything else. So I want to start by taking it back to before the days of Hollywood, mm -hmm. back when you worked at a Golden Corral. Oh, hell. Is there a restaurant trade secret, you know, something that you've seen behind the scenes that makes you weary whenever you dine out now? Yes. Sending food back. Sending food you back. You got to be careful with that. You got to be careful. Well, of course, I was at Golden Corral, so I didn't know. I didn't see a lot of food sent back. Right. However, my dad used to work in the food uh, industry, you know what I mean? So, you know, and he said never send anything back, even though contradictory with his actions, he is one of the most most uh, rude people in restaurants. It's so fun. And I don't think he knows he does it sometimes, but like we were at Carabas and they sent this pasta dish. He eats it. He goes, this is not how I remember it tasting. The lady was like, I'm sorry. So he goes, this is not how I remember. I was like, did you just slam your hands on the table? I was like, oh, he finna get lit up in here. But I was happy because I already had my food. So I said, yeah, you can go ahead and talk all the trash you want to. I'm enjoying my spit free meal. Sauce bay, you say sauce bay? Mm -hmm. It was good. So I know that you're an extremely proficient MC in your own right, but you're also a student of the game. I know that you study the Titans like Jay Z, Big L, Luda. <laughs> Shia. Luda. <laughs> Big L. I can't do. I don't know. I've never tried them. What I want to do is bounce some of the craziest headlines going on in hip hop right now, because right. I'm just curious where Jay Farrow, where he right. lies, okay? Cool. cool. What'd you make of this story about Blueface having sex with over a thousand women in the last six months? It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe 76, 80, but a thousand? a thousand? Come on now. And I, and then I don't even want to think about Blueface having intercourse because it sounds weird. <laughs> Come on, bitch, give me the Koshi. I love it. Like, you know, you sitting, you're screaming the whole time. He ain't on beat with it. I don't get it. Right. I don't get it. I don't think he did it. I don't get it. I don't think there's that many deaf women that will allow him to smash. Mo Bamba, top 10 rap song of the decade or not top 10 rap song of the decade? He told me, I got ho calling. Y'all nigga, oh. You know what's really weird? When you're in, a, you're in a car full of white people and they're singing every lyric and you're just looking around like, well, you better be glad I want to smash you, girl, because you, your girl shouldn't be saying this shit at all. Crossing some lines. Crossing some damn lines. Do I think it's one of the top ten? I think it's it's one of the top ten lit songs. There you go. There you go. Can I say that? You can say that. Not lyrical, but lit. Lit. Yeah. Lit. Not that L, that L. You know what I'm saying? But you will put Shaquanda on a piece of chicken. I'm so offended. <laughs> 
it it's, puts me in a tough spot. Sean, Sean, it, it puts me in a tough Sean, spot. Over because here. we're friends, because we're friends, we have so much, we have so much chemistry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and let that bypass and try to eat this wing. I appreciate that. <laughs> so I know that you started <laughs> rapping at 13 and mm -hmm. then comedy at 15. How does bombing on stage when you're rapping compare to bombing on stage as a comedian? Like, have you ever had some sort of eight mile moment? Uh, yeah, I did. It's 2009. Elizabeth City, it's a freaking step show. Worst thing you can have being a comedian is a lit dance crew. Why, you gotta tell jokes. You know why? Why? Because their energy does not match your shit. Right. So whatever you try to do after they come on stage, your performance is trash. And eventually I said something whack and then the girl stood up, she was like, she was doing that. I said, sit your big ass down, looking like a goddamn tree out this bitch. I didn't know what else to say. She had on green. I told the bitch she like a tree. Like what? I was so nervous. But I battled with that crowd for like five minutes and they shut up. There you go. So I won. I think Bill Burr did it. Bill Burr beat the whole Philadelphia Eagles saying. That, I, that's, uh, I love He's that like, clip. He's like, fuck you! You fuckers! You fucking! He's like, your, your statue of Rocky is not even real! Fuck you and your Philly cheese steaks! Fuck you! And I was like, that, yo, yo, fuck y'all with your Lisbon City and your slow driving and your fucking shower caps with your shower caps with your rollers in your hair, with your holes in your sweatpants, going to Burlington, getting your layaway off. I know because I'm the person you come see. I was saying a whole bunch of shit, but I won. Boom. I won, baby. <laughs> Just like Bill Burr. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> what it do, baby. Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> I like to leave my corpses up there. I know, I like that. I'm like Killmonger of wings. <laughs> Is this your wing? Is this your wing? Nah, I'm the king now. Okay, still the king, see? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That hit me back here. Hit you back here in the back of your tongue. Right there in that taste bud that's right there. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Just say, ow! Oh, just kicked it a little bit. You know what I mean? So last time you and I were walking through the wings of death, we had unexpected guests that included DMX, Denzel Washington, and Eddie Murphy. So this time around, we want to give fans a taste at some of our most requested white whale guests, okay? Sure. Keanu Reeves, how are you with spicy food? These wings are so spicy, but it's okay because I can take them. <laughs> but going to the end, it can't be done. You want me to eat all of these chicken wings and not cry. It can't be done. <laughs> you put any wing in front of me and I'm just gonna let you know. I'm gonna kill that wing because that's what I do. Kanye West, it looks like you have something you gotta get off your chest. You know, um, uh, you know because, um, you know, I just want to say this about the wings. You know, um, I have children now, Sean, okay? Like, last time I was here, you know, I might have had half a baby. You know, I just I just got to be careful with my bowels, fam. You know, because, you know, if my kids see, you know, if they see me running to the bathroom and they smell it, you know, they always going to have that image mm -hmm. of their dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, you know, maybe Kim should share these wings with me. Nick Cage, do you have a favorite hot sauce? Well, my favorite hot sauce definitely would be the most extreme. So I think the last dab would be my favorite because I go to the extremes <coughs> with my acting. So I think this wing right here definitely would be my it baby. Idris Alba, we were so excited to have you on the show last season. Were Jason Statham and The Rock impressed with your performance? Well, you know, um, when it comes down to, you know, Jason, uh, Dwayne Johnson, uh, those guys are assholes, you know? So I really don't talk to them a lot, you know? We did the scene together, you know, it was cool and everything, but, you know, those guys pretty much have, like, you know, hit points that they do on stage, mate. I don't care why well, I'm sexy, you know? It just made everyone looking at me pregnant. Wow. Tastes like ramen noodles. 
All right, Jay, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Graham, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. I wish. I wish I wouldn't have archived so much of my shit. Well, we got some good ones. Good. All right, so here you are <laughs> with Denzel Washington. Yep. That's at the AFI Lifetime Achievement Awards. And um, I walked up to him. I was like, hey, I don't know if you know who I am. He said, oh, snap, I know who you are, Negro. <laughs> you owe me money. You know that, right? You owe me a lot of money. Hmm? And the way he said it, I was like, yo, this, yo, he right. I do owe him a lot of money because I have made a lot of cake from doing the impression. And I'm like, shit. So it was so dope. We had this moment. As we're talking, they flash a picture and we both stopped and posed for the camera. So this is how it happened. So say, blah, blah, I'm gonna call a picture. You call a picture, do your pose face, sure. okay? All right, so it was like this. It's like, yeah, man, so, yeah, man, so anyway, so, um, yeah, bro, I appreciate your work. I love your picture. Yeah, man, it, <laughs> it was like that. It was the sweetest shit ever. And Chris Tucker is behind. So Chris Tucker immediately grabs and says, Nizel, man, Nizel, come take a picture of my son, man. Right here, man. And I'm like, yo, man, I wanted to get a picture for myself. So they take the picture together, and then Denzel goes to sit down. And I was like, Chris, man, you messed my son. I was like, I wanted to take a picture. He said, man, go ahead over there, man. Go ask him, man. He gonna take a picture with you, man. Just don't let him get too comfortable. Yeah, as soon as he get an hors d'oeuvre or something like that, you know, he ain't gonna be taking a picture. But right now, he ain't got nothing in his hand. He just sat down. So I walk over there. I said, Mr. Washington, can I please take a picture with you? He goes, yeah, you can take a picture if you can lean down. <laughs> can you lean down? Can you lean? Can you drop it like it's hot? If you can drop it, I will definitely, he didn't say drop it like it's hot, but he said, if you can lean down, I'll take this picture with you. I said, I'll bend down. I ain't gonna bend over, but I will bend down for you, Mr. Washington. I bent down, we took that picture, and I was squatting, and I was so happy with my Eddie Murphy smile. It's a great picture. Yeah, he doesn't look too amused. <laughs> But he didn't care. <laughs> this one. <laughs> There's you in shock. Yes, 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 yes. I did my Shaquille O'Neal impression with uh, Kenny the Jet Smith and Charles Barkley. And it was so funny. Kenny was like, can you do it? And Charles Barkley was like, yo, man, that's crazy. You gonna do it. So I... <laughs> So I did the impression, and there's no there's no freaking lines, but it didn't matter. You know why? Because when my eyes are crossed, I can't read anything anyway. Mm. So when I was on SNL and I would do that character, I would have to like flash, take a picture in my mind of what was being said, and then when it was my turn to talk, like Keenan would like hit me like this, and I would I would go. Because you didn't have a safety net. No, I don't have a safety net, and right. I can't I can't see the lines. You know what I mean? So on this one, I, I freestyled the whole thing. I like my chips with the dip. I love dip salsa, queso. It's all good, all for Shaq. It's amazing. Love Shaq. Shaq, love it. Love it. And I did that, and uh, it went over went over great. Did uh, Shaq like it? Yeah. He was like, hey. It's like, I don't know people talking about keep doing it. Keep doing it. You like doing the Shaq? Keep doing the Shaq. Don't stop doing it. It's hilarious. No, I think it's really funny. It's really funny. You're funny. You're really funny. <laughs> You're very funny. You're very funny guy. Very, you, funny. You can't kick, you know why? You're the fucking chair. You're in a chair, you can't use your legs, you can't kick. All right. So, that's such a lovely segue, because we'd be remiss not to mention that you're one of, if not the best, impressionist of our time. What are the mechanics of a great comedic impression? Like, it seems like there's this immediate awe factor where you're like, oh, that's recognizable, I know that, but then there's something that you, that you change to make the joke last. <clears throat> okay. First, you want a voice that you want a voice that everybody knows, but not necessarily knows. That's the first key to it. Second, is taking those parts of um, of their character and exaggerating them fully. Like you know, when I do the Will Smith, uh, you know those. You don't do that all the time, but right. uh, it just says woo, uh, or you do the. You know, oh, you do, little baby. Man, 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 got so feeling. I man, 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 all the way. Hand in, hand in, how did you just take that? Hand in, hand in, just have them playing the banjo. Back and like, like, old town road, like, you know what I'm saying? So you take the little bit and you just exaggerate it. Oh no, that's crazy. Wah, 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 bitch, I'm the baby. I didn't even know I had that one. In your show, White Famous, one of the gags is that you'll use Denzel Washington's voice as a way to, to become out. more attractive yeah, to the yeah. ladies. I do that. I do that in real life. Yeah, yeah. That's how I was gonna ask. Like, yeah. do, have you ever used voices for good or for evil in your real life? Like, I'll walk around my house and shit. Like, okay, y'all can get the walk. It's fine. 
get to walk. So I walk around my house and shit like this. I just be looking, I be pensive. I be, you know, sitting, I just, I'll just walk. I'll look up. You don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll look up. What's that spray? Shh. That spider's dead, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that Matt Damon is the one who put you yep. on Steven Soberg's Yep, it was radar. Matt. It was Matt Damon. It was Matt Damon. Shout uh, out to Matt Damon. Shout out to Matt Damon. Shout out to Steven Soderbergh. Because mm-hmm. uh, I know where you're going to segue to because we're like this. I know yep. what happened. Yep. Um, but yeah, they were on the set. At, it might have been an Oceans. Matt Damon was like, I can't really do it. Matt Damon. He was like, dude, you got to see this. You got to see this impression. Steven not Soderberg. a bad Matt Damon for the not record. Not a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You, you gotta see this impression. You, you gotta see it. And then uh, Steven Soderbergh was like, oh, he's good. He's real good. And then I got insane because he wanted to show my dramatic chops to the world. Yep. We're right we're here, man. Right we're, here. We, we friggin', we're right here, man. Same paddle boat down the hot sauce river. We're in the gondola. We're in the gondola. That's baby. right. We, we ain't doing freaky shit. We just riding, but we in the gondola together. We doing that. I drank hot sauce, which is crazy. I used to drink it when I was a fat kid and I was in church. We had this kitchen, right? It was a kitchen downstairs. It was like 17 hot sauce bottles. I drank all of them. And at the time, you probably didn't think, you know, at one point, this will really allow me to shine on a YouTube talk show that features chicken wings. Did not know that. Life but what is I, crazy like that. What I, did know, crazy. what I did know, Sean, is that I'll never drink 17 bottles of hot sauce again. <laughs> so as we touched on in your last interview, uh-huh. you're a committed gym rat, and it's clear that in the time since, you have not been skipping any reps. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I Whoa. Have, I have not. I, dude, come on, man. Put it up. Trying. You got Trying. it? Trying. Trying. Not like that. I'm just trying to get thrown. I'm just trying to get thrown by Dwayne Johnson in one of these movies. Hey. The Rock says, The Rock's gonna throw you, Jabroni. I'm like, you really? <laughs> Get thrown and shit? I'm ready, man. On the topic of ripped comedians, uh-huh. okay, who wins in an I Quit match between you, Brian Callen, and Kevin Hart? Oh, th- I'm, I'm whipping all their ass. <laughs> all of them are fucked up. Kevin Hart, Ke- Kevin Hart, Brian Callen, I'm sorry, Brian's old. He ain't, well, he's older. He ain't gonna mess with me. He was, what was in Ride Along? Just cause you're in Ride Along don't mean shit, brother. I was in Ride Along too. I got thrown by Ice Cube, and he's five foot nine. All right? It really wasn't, it really didn't affect me. So if you put all three of us in the ring, I'm gonna freaking win. Now, Kevin, he gonna keep trying to get back in, but you know, we just, you just hold Kev like this. He ain't that, he ain't that big. Brian Callie can't fuck with me. But he's in good shape. He's in good Brian's shape. Brian's in good shape. Yeah, me and Chris Delia, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, three, we'll 3D Dudley bomb that motherfucker. It's a little spicy. Oh, this is the one that's trying to take your um your taste away. Mmm. Max girlfriend trying to do that. It didn't work. Is it true that you once saw Robin Williams rapping a Swiss beat song? Yep. Oh fucking ridiculous. Oh. Yes! I can't believe. Oh fucking ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> That's all he did. Your music, it's so clearly like your comedy, an extension of your personality. When you have a thought, is there sort of like uh, a mechanism, something that triggers when you're like, this would be a better verse or this would be a better joke? Um, what I used to do. (coughs) (coughs) Sorry. Got a little um, damnation on my um on the top of my um my shit. Yo, your cheeks are sweating. Listen, we're shiny over here. Are we shiny? We're shiny. We're gonna shine it up real nice. <laughs> um, so what I used to do, my freestyles, I used to take like quotables and I used to make hooks out of them. I just think about it, jot it down, write around it, and then somehow form a dope hook. I see you. And I see ya. Uh, it's a little bit. 
Are we ready to move on down the line, Jay? Let's do it. All right, so this is the chocolate plague from Puckerbutt. <coughs> Need some time? No, you know what? Uh, a couple times this season, I caught my eye, and that's the worst shit ever. So now I'm like super like, I'm like I'm super careful about it in a way that's absurd. Okay. Like I'll have to like clear my eye on like the shoulder of my shirt and then be like, all right. You ready? I'm ready. So we've talked What's today. What's the question, Sean? We've talked today <laughs> about how you just want to get thrown by the rock. I know that you've made a many a pitch to be in Black Panther too. Why not? We got the rest of the black people in there. <laughs> Why not put my ass in there? Come on. Come on, it's me. Come on, you got all those people in there, bro. Mm -hmm. I think me, Craig Robinson, and Chris Rock all need to be in the next one. Is this Wakanda? Is this Wakanda? I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. I thought it was going to be way hotter. It's nice here. Here's my rapper chick shout out. Meg Thee Stallion. How you doing? Big old freak. Ah. Yeah. I watch your stuff. I'm infatuated. Like all your videos. You are a stallion. It's a hot girl summer. That's right. That's why I didn't get my number to a chick. I told her it was a hot girl summer. Cause y'all hot out here. Okay, back to this. Well, speaking of hot, is this the last one? Are you not entertained? Dip that shit. A little dip, a little soak. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. What a run it's been, Jay. Mm -hmm. All right, Jay Farrow, here we are at the end of our run, your second ascent to the top of Mount Scoville. In a moment, a BTS moment of Hot Ones that we talk about all the time is after the cameras cut last time, you just did a Cassidy verse for about four straight minutes. Must have been 48 bars. So here, we thought it was only right. Now that we have the cameras actually rolling, how are you feeling after 10 scorching hot chicken wings? I done finished the challenge, my nose running. But I got to the end without being a bitch, so that's a hundred. <laughs> you see, I'm of it. They watching me on Hot Ones, they love it. See, I'm the person that comes on the show, the type of black celebrity they covet. You see, it's different, baby. Because my blood type was Satan, now it's really shady. And you gotta say, call KB. See, I'm on AV. That's an accelerated view. Now understand, I ate the chicken. So to all the clucks out there and the chicken heads, I will say fuck you. You don't get it. See, I'm battle rapping and crapping. See, after this, affirmative action. I don't know what I'm crapping, but I'm probably gonna need some toilet tissue to get all the action. You get what I'm saying? But I killed the challenge. I did it, and I ate these wings. Chicken see me now, they be like, yo, don't mess with him, because that dude do a lot of violence. You see? <laughs> Sean, I am hot ones. That's my blood type. You need wet wipes, not me, all hype. JP, all night, ride tight. And look, y'all ain't even close. You see, after I thought kill this challenge. See, I'ma take your chicken, probably spare it like the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's bars up in here. I'm large up in here. It won't hard up in here because I'm hard right here. You get it? See, I got the tongue. I got the tongue of Godzilla. Yeah, spit I spit fire. Straight fire. And look at you, Jay Farrow, second time and against it. the wings of death. And killed it in front of the black sand vanilla. Y'all don't get who's iller. 20 chicken wings 20. up. 20. 20 chicken wings down. And one more for good measure. Now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, Jay Farrow. This camera, this camera, this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Hey, look, I'm filming this movie right now. This Casablanca Records biopic called Spin and Gold, baby. Uh-huh. I'm playing Cecil Holmes. And I got this project I'm about to drop called Heartbreak. Y'all make sure y'all check that shit out. Boys, Jay Farrow, baby. My best friend, one of my best homies. Sean! Sean motherfucker, he's a fucking, he's a go! He's a go! 
Get him a bag. He's the GOAT. Give me this hot sauce. Look at this here. You get a hot, you get an L. You get an L. Y'all get L's, cause I prevail. Hey. That's hey. It, baby. Hey, yes. <laughs> It was so much fun. It went so fast. Thank you, baby. I got some shit on my ass. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? This is Sean Evans checking in to say thank you so much for watching our reunion special with Jay Farrow. Season 10, it is just around the corner, so hold on to your seats. It's coming, it's coming fast. In the meantime, if you missed, let's say, uh, Andrew Ray's episode, where he got a tattoo while eating the wings of death, you can check that out here. Or of course, our season nine finale with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And when you hear season nine finale, you know season 10 premiere is on its heels. We'll see you soon, baby.